Good morning and welcome to our Kids Church Daily Bible Readings. You might like to get your Bible, a notebook and a pen or pencil. Pause the video while you do that. We are slowly working our way through Paul's letter to the Philippians. We have heard about Paul's care for and prayer for his brothers and sisters in Philippi. We have heard how eager they are to help with the work of proclaiming the gospel. We know that Paul has been thrown into prison for proclaiming the gospel, but that what is most important to him is not whether he gets out or not. The most important thing for Paul is that the gospel keeps being proclaimed, that people keep hearing the great news about God's love and forgiveness. Paul has talked about the different things that might happen to him and now concludes this section with the one thing the Philippians need to do, whatever happens to him. Today's reader is Jack Maddock from the 6pm Gathering. He is reading Philippians chapter 1 from the NIV. You might like to read along in your Bible or listen to God's words being read to you. Philippians chapter 1 verses 27 to 30 Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God. For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ not only to believe in him, but to suffer for him, since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. Here are some questions to help you think about this passage. Pause the video after each question. You can think about it and write something down if you like, or talk about it with your family. What are the Philippians to do, whatever happens to Paul? Paul goes on to explain more about what that means. What are three things that tell us more about what a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ is? Look at the end of verse 27 and the start of verse 28. What sort of opposition might the Philippians be facing? You could have a read of Acts chapter 16, verses 16 to 24, to help you think about this. When something is granted to you, it means it is given to you, and it is a good thing, like a gift. What has been granted to them? Look in verse 29. Paul explains that just as he is suffering for preaching the gospel, so might they suffer for preaching the gospel. Sometimes people think that suffering is a sign that God is not pleased with you. What does Paul say in these verses that show us that this is not true? Here are some prayer ideas. Praise God for the great and glorious gospel, the good news about Jesus. Thank God for Paul and people like him who were willing to suffer so that others would hear about Jesus. Pray for our church that we would conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel. And pray that we would do that whatever happens to us, even if we suffer for preaching the gospel. Spend some time praying now, either by yourself or with your family. <music> 